I'm Claudia Kay and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a small sale for you. Everything, every item um, in today's sale I have had up in my live sales, but everything will be at a lower price than it was the last time it was up for sale. This sale will be good. Um, today is Tuesday. It will be good Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I will not be going live on Wednesday. I did not source enough new items to have a whole sale, uh, but I will hopefully be getting up a very small haul sometime in the next couple days so you guys can see the few things that I did find last weekend. If you have never purchased from me before or purchased from a YouTube sale, in order to claim an item, you just have to comment at the number below of the item that you want. If you are the first person to claim that item, you win the item. Then you will need to email me at claudiakvintage at gmail.com and uh, C-A-Y-E is how you spell K. Uh, it will be in the description box below. So if you are not sure about any of this, instructions are in the description box below. When you email me, you wanna give me your YouTube name, your real name if it's different from your YouTube name, your shipping address and your PayPal email. I use Pirate Ship to ship everything. You only get charged the same amount I get charged for shipping. I do not add a handling fee to that at all. And um, once I've invoiced you, I ask that you pay within 48 hours. The faster you pay, the faster I get it shipped out to you. And um, once everybody's paid, I ship everything out. I do not let things sit around here. If somebody is late paying, um, and they haven't contacted me, their invoice is canceled. If they've contacted me and we've worked something else out, then I will ship everybody that's already paying. I don't let things sit around here. Um, I think that's everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not subscribed to me. And if you think you are subscribed to me, but you're not sure, you might want to double check because sometimes YouTube does weird things. Oh, itchy nose. And sorry about the no makeup, no hair, but I am headed over to help my mom um, with the pool. So I will have to be getting into the pool. We've got to clean some algae off the bottom. And so I'm not putting on makeup when I'm heading to the pool. First item up today is this Catherine Holm olive green Dutch oven casserole. Catherine Holm is enamelware. This is the lotus leaf pattern. And this is the nine inch, which makes it most likely the three quart. I didn't actually measure it. The enamel on this is in fantastic shape. You've just got a few spots where there's any wear. The handles are not rusty underneath. Here is the lid. The bottom. And then the inside, here's the inside of the lid, does have a bit of staining. It's this big. Marked down today to $25, number 41. $25, number 41 for Catherine Home Enamelware. Set that down over there. Next up is this sweet little marigold carnival bowl. It's very shallow, but these ripples are gorgeous. This is its size. I think this would make a great entryway bowl. $5, $5, number 20. Next up is the porcelain, I have to get back here with him, Russian, this was made in Russia by the Lomo, Lomonosov company, and um, it's very faded, but right here it does say made in Russia, and it has one tiny chip on the underside right here, but you cannot tell when it's being displayed. His ears are in good shape. And as far as I tell, he has no other dings. And he's big. He's a gorgeous piece. $20, number 
on the Russian giraffe. $20, number 53. Next up is a little piece of fine bone china from England. This is Royal Adderley and the plant in the middle is a Canadian plant called a trillium. Just a little pin dish. It does have some wear to the, um, looks like it was platinum that rained around here, not gold. Has some wear there, but no chips, no cracks. There's its marking on the back. So just a little pin dish and it is $5.00 number 40 five dollars number 40. next up i love these vintage felt stockings and this one's bigger than a lot of them that i've seen but it is all hand beaded i'll show you the inside here in a minute and it's got these elements that move <laughs> like the reins of the reindeer here. It is missing, I would say it's missing two bells. I would definitely had one here and I would bet it had another one here. So let me show you the inside so you can see that it is handmade. Here's the back side. And it is a good size. So vintage felt hand beaded Christmas stocking. Christmas in July. Oh. And it is $15 number 81. $15 number 81. have a little bit of, I believe, early American pattern glass. It is this size. It has this gorgeous pattern all the way around. So little relish dish, little pickle dish. It does have a chip right here, but it's a very old, soft chip. It's this size. I can never resist a really pretty pattern piece of clear glass. It is a weakness. And it is only going to be $5, number 28. $5, number 28. Next up, we have this little Limoges. France toothpick holder. So here's the Limoges France on the bottom. It's got little feet and these flowers might be forget-me-not. The gold trim on the top is still in really nice shape all the way around. Inside's very clean. This is very pretty shape so it's not not a circle. And this is going to be six dollars number 95. six dollars number 95. next up i adore this this ruby cut to clear is so dark that it looks purple or black depending on the light and it is in fact red it is definitely ruby bohemian powder box cut to clear so here is the lid, deep ruby. And then around the inside here, there are flea bites. So it was obviously used. It's got that gorgeous pattern. And then on the bottom bit, we do have a chip here and then a smaller chip here. But when it's sitting you don't see any of the chips or flea bites and here is the bottom there you can see that but it looks almost amethyst on the um the camera but it's not it is a very very deep ruby 
So this gorgeous bohemian glass, cut to clear. And the way that they do this is fascinating. It's a clear glass and then it gets an overlay of a red glass and then it gets hand cut. So you get this beautiful cut to clear piece. This is just $12, number 51. $12, number 51. At the end, I am going to have some um, $2 add-ons. So if you purchase something, you will be able to add the items at the end on for $2. Next up here, this is a fantastic deal, you guys. Candlesticks that match. Hardly ever find them in a pair. This is the Dork Lace Pattern, and these do not have any chips or cracks. And they are this height. So, gorgeous pair of Milk Glass Dork Lace Candlesticks matching set. Only $5 for both. Five dollars, number ten. Next up, oh, and I do not have my black light. This is the Hall Superior mixing bowl in this size and the glaze on this is uranium glaze and it does glow under a black light. This pattern, and somebody asked me when I had this up for sale before, this pattern has undergone um, several different names and I don't know if the company ever actually changed the name or just collectors changed the name, but it was originally the autumn leaf pattern, but um, it did have several other names it was known by. And these pieces were made up into the 70s, so only the pieces from a very short time period actually have the uranium glaze. So if you find a piece from the 70s, they were still making this exact bowl in this exact pattern, but it's not the uranium glaze. So you can mix and match pieces from decades, but not all of them will have this uranium glaze. And it is $12, number 50. $12, number 50. Next up, very pretty, the size, glass planter. And this is EO Brody. It was made in Cleveland, Ohio. I live in Ohio. You can see that right there. No chips, no cracks. This really pretty fish scale or pine cone pattern on it. And it is $6, number 46. $6, number 46. Next up, I have this double heart pink AB stones with these imitation pearls in them. The, you guys, the shine on the pink AB stones, <laughs> I love it. It's this size, so it is a very nice size. Here's the back of it. It was unmarked, and it can be yours for $10, number 13. $10, number 13. Next up, Avon Powder Box. And from what I saw online, this came from the 1950s. So it is unmarked, because as we know later on, everything was marked um, Avon. And it is clear glass with a fired on red color, and then a plastic and metal lid. So this part's metal, it does have a little corrosion right there. The inside's very clean, by the way. And then, this part is plastic. And 
we can see a little bit of wear and tear on the lid. So glass has no chips or cracks. The lid does have some wear. It was obviously used, but how very cool. Avon 1950s powder box, and it is only $8, number 55. $8, number 55. Next up is this small wreath brooch. And we've got little leaves in between the pearls that have clear rhinestones in them. And then each of these pearls is strung through the center onto a metal wire that goes all the way around. So you do get a tiny bit of movement in these stones. It has a wide back and it's this big. So it is smaller than the previous brooch. Small but mighty because it's very, very pretty. $6, number 48. Six dollars, number forty-eight. Next up is this gorgeous Daisy and Button amber glass basket. It's a nice light amber, and then it has the branch handle. No chips, no cracks, no flea bites. I could not find anything wrong with this little basket. It's this size. $8, number 30. $8, number 30. Next up are these clip earrings that match a flower brooch and I swear I sold one of these last year with the white and the blue I did wear them for a little bit to make sure they weren't pinching and that they were comfortable to wear it had no issues with them and they are this size a pair of clip earrings Six dollars, number ninety-eight. Six dollars, number ninety-eight. Keeping them in the bag so I don't lose one of the earrings. Next up is this little made in Occupy Japan doggy, little ceramic doggy. It says right here, made in Occupy Japan. He's got the big eyes. He is this size. So just a little guy. No chips, no cracks. And he is $6, number 47. And I like when they, I find things that um, say made in Occupy Japan because then we know it was produced between 1945 and 1952. So I love when we can narrow down the age of something so well. And last but not least on the brooches is this gorgeous brooch with interlocking squares, pink, yellow, and blue. And it does have a Y back. And all of these brooches, the pins worked fine. I checked them all. And it's this size, no missing rhinestones. $8, number 37. $8, number 37 on that brooch. And then that brings me to $2 add-ons. Now you can only purchase the $2 add-ons if you've purchased a previous item from this sale. And if you have purchased anything else that I've already shown you, you can add on as many of these $2 items as you would like to. So the first one is this little Made in Japan bud vase. It's got its sticker and its sign there on the bottom. The image is not on the back, only the front. And it's this size, $2.00. 
$2 add-on, letter A. Then we've got the Avon Sweet Honesty Lamb. And this does have perfume in it. And this was on there too tight for me to get off, so I will not be emptying it. $2 add-on, letter B. This was listed online as a milk glass snuff bottle. Could not find out who made it. Couldn't even figure out where it was produced. But it's got this really pretty milky glass. It's not that solid white milk glass. No markings, nice and clean on the inside. And all of the ones I found online did not have any kind of stopper or lid. So maybe it had a cork stopper. It's this size, so it is little. Letter C, $2 add-on, letter C. Next up is the mug that broke my heart. When I'd taken this up and added it to my pile, it did not have a chip. By the time I got it home, it had a chip, and I couldn't even find the chip like in the bag. So I think it happened when he was um, picking, I think he must have bumped something against it when he was picking my things up and starting to wrap them when I wasn't up there at the desk. This is a uh, Rockingham Harker Hound Dog mug. The glaze, but see the chip? And it is a fresh chip. The glaze on this is stunning. Stunning. And it's this size. But if you're looking to add a pencil cup with this much pizzazz, because that dog is awesome, $2 add-on, letter D. $2, letter D. We've got the Avon Snowbird. And this would have had the um, Moonwind like lotion in it. And these Avon pieces are always a plastic lid with a glass bottom. It's still got its original sticker. It is empty, nice and clean though. And no smell because I am severely allergic and no smell. $2 add-on, letter E. And here's the last of those metal um, salt and pepper shakers. You can, if you purchase something previously in this sale, you can get all three sets for $2. The three sets for one money. So you've got this set of stoves, this shorter set, with the really pretty flowers painted on, and then um, this little set of wheel wheel barrels, and these are all metal. So. You get all three sets for $2 as an add-on for a previous purchase, letter F. This little made in Japan dresser dish. There's its Japan mark. And it does have a little bit of wear here. So somebody used it and you know what I always say, use the pretty things. So it's this size, it would hold a few pair of earrings, some rings, dresser dish, made in Japan, $2 add-on, letter G. And last but not least, is this milk glass plate reticulated. It's that nice heavy milk glass. I do believe that this hung on somebody's wall with a metal hanger because you can see, you can feel where here where over the years the house would have shifted and it would have bounced on that metal and bit into the glass. This side has zero damage at all and I thought it would make a perfect um, underplate for a planter. That's why I went ahead and picked it up. But it is a $2 add-on. It's the size letter H. 
And that is everything that I've got for you guys today. If you made it all the way to the end, thanks for watching. Thanks for always being so supportive. Huge shout out to my friend Sheila, because without her, I don't think I would have been able to keep going this year. You know what you did, Sheila. All right. Thank you. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.